Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 714. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook 711 to 714. In this trick here, we have three criteria. One, two, three. Two of the criteria are in the actual records, like this. Ah, but the third criteria actually is a column. So we're doing a three criteria lookup and then we need to add the item. So for example, quad sales rep one California, quad sales rep by one California is the value we want there. Quad sales rep one, we want this value right there. So those two values need to be added in this cell right here. We're going to see two methods here. We're going to see one that adds an extra column and joins two criteria together to create, in essence, a new column that will have one criteria, uh, and then we'll we'll add that extra column. We'll use sum if and the index function to, to say, hey, if it's California, give me the whole column of values. Now, adding an extra column wastes re uh, spreadsheet real estate. However, when it comes to calculating, this method will be faster. Then we'll see our second method where we actually do not use this column. We'll just join the criteria together. Um, and use the sum product. Um, fa uh, it takes longer to calculate though. All right, equals, oh, I'm sorry. For our sum if, we'll have to join. So I'll say equals this criteria, ampersand, which is shift seven, this. So we create a third, uh, an extra column that um, combines two criteria. That'll allow us to use the sum if, which is actually faster calculating just by itself compared to sum product equals sum if. See, because we can't put join criteria like we can in sum product because that range can't handle array. So that's why creating that extra column is pretty handy and it's fast, uh, fast calculating. F9 comma our criteria. Well, there's still two bits of information here, so or criteria, so we click on that first one, ampersand, and this one. Make sure you do it in the same order, product sales rep, product sales rep. All right, that's our criteria and our sum range. Now, we have two criteria. We created the extra column, but now we need to somehow, since the sum if can look through here and say quad SR1, quad SR1, we don't want to get you know, all of these, we just want this column. Well, index function can actually look up a whole column of values. So we'll use, for the sum range, index. The array, it's going to be this whole array right here, F9, I'm sorry, F4. And really, we'll just use the match function to say which column, first, second, or third. Array, comma, now row number. Well, we want all the rows because we, when we get to the col when we get to the column index right here, we're going to use the match to say from this rectangular table with three columns, I want California, so I want this whole column. Well, before we can say whole column here, we need to say row number. Give me all the row numbers. Now, usually we put a zero, and it means all the row numbers, but you can actually leave that out and hit a comma, notice there's row number, comma, and now we go there just by leaving it out, you're saying give me all the row numbers. All right, so column number, we have to use the match. Match is great because it can find an ordinal position. So I'm going to give it California as the lookup value, comma, this is the lookup range, but instead of returning a particular item, it just tells you within that range what number, one, two, three. 1, 2, 3, California is the third, so it'll return a 3. F4 to lock it, comma, the match type is exact match, so we put a 0 because our words are not sorted. Close parentheses on the match. That's the column number, this matches the input for column number. Close parentheses on the index, close parentheses on the sum. Double click and send it down, and you can see it fills out our little table. We can just uh, see if we got it right. Sales rep, a uh, quad sales rep California, boom. Quad sales rep one California, I'm holding control. Now I've, I've looked, I've highlighted them both, and now I can look down my, uh, I have to move this up a little bit. The status bar will, um, 
indicate the sum of all the highlighted areas. Let's check another one. Let's check uh, quad sales rep Calif sales rep to California. So quad sales rep to California. Oh, it should just be that single item. Or maybe I missed one. Quad sales rep to California. Oh, quad sales rep to California. Boom. So it should be four. 209 and sure enough it is. Now um, that's nice. It's uh, that's the faster calculating method. But what if it's more important not to waste or use any uh, spreadsheet real estate? Well, we're gonna just slightly amend this. I'm gonna copy the index part because that delivers the whole row, which uh, the, with the whole column. I mean, escape, and then we'll use some product. Now. With some product, it can handle arrays, so we can do something like double negative, open parentheses, and since we have two criteria and we need to match it here, we can just highlight this first column, F4, and ampersand join a second column, F4. Really, the essence of this is, is since we've joined the two columns, it's still going to be a single column of values, but it's going to say quad SR1 as the first entry. Now, let's just highlight this in F9 and C. Sure enough, uh, up here we can see quad SR1, tri-fly SR2. Now I'm going to control Z. So And you can see the semicolons, which means uh, go down to the next row. So it really took two columns and created just one column, just like this right here. You can see these are parallel to these right here. But I'll, we can do it inside the formula. Control Z. Now. That's our column, so then we need to say anything in that equal to, and then this, ampersand this. Now we're going to get trues and falses. The double negatives will just convert them to ones and zeros. That's our first array, comma, and then control V. That was the third criteria in essence, which pulls out whichever column. So right now, the first part, let's close this, close parentheses. This will give us F9. 1's and zero, so only 1 times 1, all these others will be 0, I'm sorry, not 1 times 1, it'll be a 1 and a 1. All of these will be multiplied by the second array, I'm going to control Z, and the second array for this first item gives us the California column, F9. So all those numbers and only the ones that were for quad SR1, which would be the first one, and then whatever that other one down here is. So those two ones, all the other ones that are don't match are zero times that number, so you get a zero. Control Z. All right, this I can just hit uh, enter and then copy it down. All right, so three different way, uh, two different ways to do a three-way criteria lookup, where two criteria are in the uh, regular fields and a third one is across the top as actual field names. All right, we'll see you next trick.